This is ITG Mac Attack and Photos for OS X does not delete the file from the hard drive. Why? I have no idea, but let's just kind of go over why I know this. Why I know this is because in iPhoto or Aperture, you can go to the actual photo and you can find out where it's stored on your hard drive. So for instance, these are the exact same photo. This is iPhoto and this is, this is should be what you're seeing. If you don't see this toolbar, it's because I have mine actually open right now so I can hide sidebar and then I can say show sidebar and there there's your sidebar so it can give you a little more there is no trash can here no trash can inside photos app to see your trash you should go to show recently deleted that's the way you see your trash but when you go to show recently deleted and then you want to empty that you would go to delete all but that does not delete it all from your hard drive so it's very frustrating especially if you're trying to clear up space or delete photos or files uh, forever it's not going to do that inside photos so it's really frustrating so let's go with this photo here I want to delete this one off my hard drive it's a really old folder I don't need it it's nothing it was just imported in a long time ago and I'm trying to delete it so previously I would use iPhoto inside photos app you cannot find out where this photo is stored inside the masters folder and photos works it just uses your existing library that iPhoto used or Aperture used, and then it just creates links to it. So it doesn't actually make another library. It doesn't duplicate everything. It just uses your existing one. So if you went to information or you right click, there's no way you can get to where this file, uh, picture is stored on your hard drive. So I have to open up iPhoto. Trusty old iPhoto will do the trick. So if you go to File, Reveal and Finder, Original File, it will find on the hard drive exactly where it's stored. Now, you would think, oh, I could do this myself. If I just find the file name, I could search it. It does not work that way. The way OS X will search for this, it will not do that. I've tried it numerous times. It will not do that. I can do another video just to show how frustrating it could be when you're trying to find a file, especially off the file name, inside this library system, This how it sets up. So here is your library. If you right-click, go show package content. This is not how it's broke down like you would think. Like you would think this would be years, this would be days, etc. It does not work that or months and then days, etc. And then it'll just have these weird things, weird automatic names for uh, the events. But it's not that way. So how this works is that this photo was taken in 2011. It landed in the 2014 folder, etc. It's just how it's always been. I'm familiar with that. But what I'm not familiar with is why the Photos app, the new one that replaces iPhoto and Aperture, won't delete a file. So here's the original file inside the master's file. So there it is. That's it right there. All right. So for instance, this is how Photos treats it. Here's this folder here. Let's say I want to delete this folder, file, this picture. So then I would delete one photo, right click. Are you sure you want to delete this photo? Yes. Let's delete it. So now it's deleted out of Photos app. Well, one thing they tell you with photos and iPhoto, they don't communicate with each other. Okay, that's fine. But if you delete it, that should transpose over into the original file because they're using the same file. Eh, not exactly. So for instance, iPhoto is still open and there's the file here. And if I uh, go up here and go to Reveal and Finder, original file, it's still there too. All right, so they say, well then you wanna go to your photos and then you want to go up to this hidden toolbar, right? So you don't see trash over here at all. This is all the iPhoto events from imports from iPhoto. They're all lined up in here. But there's no way you can see your trash can. Previously in iPhoto, your trash is trash right there. And if you right click on your trash, you would empty the trash and then it would throw it into your trash bin at the very bottom and then you just empty out your trash bin and those files are gone forever. So here's that same file. Let's go back to photos. It's gone from photos. It was there and it was in there. It's gone. But now I want to delete it completely from photos. So I go up to the very top where it says photos, go to the right hand side and go to file and then say show recently deleted. Now if I want to delete this one photo Photos and videos shows the days remaining before deletion. After that time, items will be permanently deleted. If I delete this file, is what it's telling me, it'll be permanently deleted. So let's delete it. Clicking on it, delete one item. 
Are you sure? Heck yeah. And now it's deleted. There's no items left. There is nothing inside my trash bin. See, there would be normally some trash that would pop up in here. And then you right click and empty your trash and that would be like your photos library. Nothing. There's nothing in there. Now, let's go back to iPhoto. Let's see what iPhoto thinks of this photo. This photo should be deleted, right? Because photos just deleted it permanently. I want to reveal this original file and there it is. It's still there. It's not gone. It's still there. I mean, that's it. I can open this with preview. All right, here's preview. And there's the actual file, 5027. It's still there, 5027 is still in my photo. Everybody treats it like it's still there, but Photos says it's not there no more. See, it would be in here. Frustrating, so how do you delete your photos inside Photos app? If you import photos into Photos, are they there forever? I don't have a solution for this yet. I'm hoping that maybe somebody will see this and maybe give me an idea on how or what to do to correct this. The most important thing is do not get rid of iPhoto. Do not get rid of Aperture. Photos for OS X is not ready for the public because if their idea is that if you import into photos, you better import permanently. There's no way you're going to be able to find this photo either. So for instance, the, it's IMG5027. That's the name of the file right here. IMG5027. I want to show you how frustrating it is to find this file inside your hard drive. Let's see. Let's copy this. So now let's say if I go to this folder right here, your masters, okay? Because this is important. Inside masters, you wouldn't know which file to go to. You wouldn't know if you didn't see where it was. Okay, so you would only go to your masters, right? Because you're looking for it in your masters. And if you put in this right here, you're going to go to name matches IMG5027. That's what you're looking for. Go to masters. There's nothing there. This is the masters folder. It's searching for this, and there's nothing there. Let's go to this Mac. There is nothing there everything let's dumb it down to anything in the masters folder there's nothing there IMG 5027 this Mac there's nothing there so that's how frustrating it can be when you're searching for the file name on your Mac you will never know where it's at if you deleted iPhoto the only way you'll find out where that photo is in photos before you delete it is if you kept iPhoto and then you went to reveal and finder original file and that is the only way you'll find out that that photo that you tried deleting is still there and there it is img5027.jpg and it's right there right here so there it is photos sucks it's got really cool potential but it sucks right now. Sure, the filters and everything, but especially with people, especially with their pitch of their selling their new MacBook, the MacBook Airs, we're going to the SSDs or smaller hard drives. You cannot delete it, and they don't show you how to delete it. It's very frustrating. They give you this idea that you're deleting it from your hard drive when you're really not. And to prove you're really not is this exact method right here. If you can still, if you delete your folders or you're prepping to delete folders, find out where they're exactly stored at whether you're going to your Aperture library or you're going into your iPhoto library and finding out where that file is at. Because remember, you won't be able to search it by the file name because your Mac, won't, it won't work that way. Listen. So, again, find out where it's previously stored at, then try and delete within photos, and you're going to see that a lot of those photos or, or videos or stuff like that will not be permanently deleted from your hard drive. They'll always be there. So, there you have it. Um, if you have any questions, comments, leave them below. If you have any suggestions, please leave them below. Give me a kind of an idea of what to do or how to fix it. Um, uh, I want to see what I can come up with. All right. Thanks for watching.